Marlon, how pleased are you with that? Yeah, really pleasing. I think um, probably off the back of a little bit of disappointment. Well, I say a little, quite a bit on uh, on Tuesday, but I think the way we started the game probably uh, I think showed that we we got over that one and. Um, I think they gave us a real good platform. I think that's that's how we want to start, and that's how we speak about starting every game. Um, but yeah, fantastic. And then and then the character that the boys show to go ten men down and and still continue to press, and then obviously score another two goals. I think is a real testament to this group, and um, and what we've built so far this season. That fast start is that something the gaffer pinpointed ahead of the game. I think we've always spoke about it this year, but obviously that season said they're done when uh, teams are coming to Fratton Park. So um, of course you want to start every game. At a high tempo, um, especially with our fans behind us. So, yeah, uh, something we spoke about a lot this season, um, and it's good to obviously showcase it and um, reap the rewards from that as well. You were involved in the first two goals. Just talk us through them. What you remember of them? Yeah, um, obviously we've had a few uh, different set piece takers this season. Uh, I'm, I'm on them at the minute, so they're, they're mine to lose. And uh, yeah, I think you, you know, as always, as a set piece taker, you're just looking to hit an area. Um, and we've, as we've shown, I think from my whole time here, that uh, we're very productive from set pieces. We've got some some really big lads that are going to attack the ball very well. So for me, it's putting it in the right area, and hopefully the the, uh, the lads get on the end of it. Um, and then the second one, um, they're quite a high line for the game, and something we spoke about previously. So um, we tidied up the ball really well, and uh, I think Paddy always makes that great run. So trying to pick him out, and uh, and obviously Paddy done the rest. Obviously, you were on the pitch. You saw the red card happen. One of the main talking points of the game. How did you sort of see it from your point of view? Yeah, I mean, I, I won't repeat what I said to the referee because um, that would get me in trouble. But I just think it's a really strong tackle. I haven't seen it back, but um, I think he has probably caught him on the follow through. But if Tom doesn't do that, I think he gets injured himself, um, and it will be going in with a kind of like a limp, a limp leg, and, and that's when you're looking at where Tom could potentially break his leg. So. I haven't seen it back, but it didn't look high, it didn't look reckless. It just looked like a fair, strong challenge, and unfortunately, their player has, you know, been on the rough end of it. But that's football, um, and that's why I think nowadays you see less and less tackling in the game because players are scared of, of getting sent off because it doesn't take much nowadays to get a red card. Obviously, you say about their player looking on the rough end of it. Tom, Tom himself, you know, had to get treatment as well, and obviously that was his that was his debut. What did you make of it up to that point, and and how was it playing with him? I think credit to, to all the lads that are making their debut. I, mean, I know, obviously, Laney come off the bench last week, and, and sorry, on Tuesday made a real impact. But I think he showed again the difference he, he brings to us in that in that attacking midfield position, um, a real directness and robustness that um, we've probably been lacking at times this year. I think Tom was a, was a real calm character back there, considering you know I know he's played at a high level, but he's he's just joined the group this week, hasn't played much football this year, um, real calm and influence and probably the tackle probably uh, shows what type of character and how committed he is so um, yeah I don't know the, 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 the depths of his injury yet but um, hopefully it's not too serious and he'll be back with the group soon after obviously he serves his suspension. Obviously aside from those two boys how well have, how well have the other lads settled in as well obviously as you say Callum and Tom have settled in really well does that say a lot about the group we have here? Yeah, I mean, to be fair to Callum, he's a, he's a typical Scouts lad. He's probably settled in quicker than snow. Um, but I, I think we, we've spoke about it numerous times, Max, where we try to build something this year where when you do have new lads come into the building, um, they feel like they can settle in quickly. Um, obviously, it helps when you're coming to a team that are doing well. Um, and I think for us as a group, I think I can speak on behalf of the rest of the lads, it's given us a real boost and I'm sure as the fan base where um, we've brought in some really good personnel to, to add to what we've already got in the building. Fratton Park bouncing at points today, how, how good was that to, to hear? Yeah, I, I think they've deserved that at Fratton Park really because I think as much as we've been dominant in, in most home games, we've probably ended up only winning by the other goal and that's another thing we spoke about is when we have been so dominant, let's go and kill teams off and it's good to give them... Um, you know, a few goals to cheer about today, especially off the back of the last home game here. Uh, and for us to continue that momentum, I mean, if I'm going to be too picky, really annoyed with the goal we conceded because I think the clean sheet would have been a, a just reward for all our efforts. So that's something we need to look at. But I think on the whole, you know, four goals at home in front of a fantastic um, support, as always, it's, it's really good. And then it's a, obviously a week's rest and onto another busy period.